Hello, today I'm making coconut moi moi. So let's get started. First, I'll grab a coconut and I'm going to give that a good rinse because you don't know where the coconut have been to, especially if you are going to be using the water inside the coconut. So I'm going in with my small paste tool and I'll just break that up and rinse it now. I'm just trying to show you, you can use a knife to do this or you can use this hand grater. And I'll be using the hand grater to grate it first before blending it to bring out the coconut milk. And you can also use a knife to do this. Just cut this into tiny bits like this and put everything inside the blender to blend it smoothly. And once that is done, I will go ahead to blend this and bring out the milk inside the coconut. Next, I grab an onions and I will just be dicing these onions into cube sizes and I will set that as well aside. You can add any protein you like to the moi moi. You can use egg, beef, fish, crayfish, prawns, you know. Today I will be adding some boiled eggs. Hello, my name is Mabel and this is Zoya's Affairs TV. If today is your very first time here, a very warm welcome to you. Thank you for stopping by and thank you for engaging in my video. Make sure you become part of the family by clicking on the subscribe button before you leave. So right now I have the blended beans which I just brought out from the fridge. I blended these beans in the morning before I went out and I just kept it in the fridge. So if you don't have a fridge where you can keep the beans or your blended beans, you can just place a charcoal right on top of the beans and just keep it somewhere it will be as fresh as newly blended beans. So right now I added in all the spices that I'm going to be using, salt, seasoning cube, blended crayfish, some smoked fish, onions, the coconut milk and I will just combine everything together. I already added peppers and onions to the beans before blending it. So right now combine everything together like this before wrapping it in the moi moi leaves. And to all my returning subscribers, I am so glad you always come back to watch. Thank you for always engaging in my videos. And don't forget to give this video a like and also share it with your friends and family. And if you haven't subscribed yet, Please take a moment to click on that subscribe button and also turn on the bell notification and click on the icon that says all notifications. This will enable you to get notified each time I upload a new video. Thank you. And it is absolutely free to subscribe. They don't charge you for anything and you don't pay any amount of money for subscribing. Okay. In a pan, I will add in the leaf stem. And right now I have washed the leaves you need to wash your leaf you don't just use it like that so I'll place another leaves on top of the stem this is just to give it some space and and make sure the stem is getting into the moi moi because we need steam to cook it not water so right now it's time for me to start wrapping the moi moi butter into the leaves or pouring the moi moi butter into the leaves rather so first I grab my leaves and look at this one it has tear in that side that is why I will be doubling these leaves there are various type of leaves there are ones that are smaller than these ones but this is a wide leaves so I will double that and as you can see how I wrap it to wrap moi moi leaves can be very very difficult at first before I knew how 
I could wrap it, it took me a lot of time, a lot of tutoring before I could get one perfectly. But right now, I can wrap it as anyhow as I want. So this is me adding the moi moi butter into the leaves and I'll add the egg before wrapping it this way. And I'll just put that inside the pot. And I would like you to please watch carefully and see how I wrap the leaves. I try to show you as much as I can how to wrap it. You know, I really don't know how to show you more than this. But if you want to get to know how to wrap it, especially for the beginners, you need to watch carefully and also find someone to teach you perfectly. This side is where you just break it to the other side and like that and fold it this way. Make sure it is in a cone shape, yeah, cone shape like this. And once it's like that, you can now add in your butter. It's not going to pour out and yeah, just like that. Now all the butter has been wrapped, I added a little bit more water. Did you see why I placed the leaves under the stem to add water directly into the pot? Now cover it with some leaves because I need a lot of steam to make this cook perfectly. And I will just cover it now and allow it to start cooking. This was 15 minutes later, I came to check on it and I, it has been cooking as you can see there is a lot of difference. So I added a little bit more water to continue the cooking process. Cover it again and just leave it there to continue cooking. So I came back to check on it. And this was some minutes later, let's say 30 minutes because it has cooked and I just kept it there. So it has cooled down a bit, but it's still a little bit warm. So I'm taking it out now and don't think your girl is a wonder woman. This has cooled down perfectly. Okay, please don't touch it that way. Now the mama is ready and I serve this. I actually enjoy this with some coconut corn pudding. If you want to see how I made this corn pudding, I will definitely leave the link in the description box for you to check it out. And this moi moi, it was so delicious. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!